Hey guys, happy Saturday. This is Black Rhino, again with another video. Thanks for tuning in. I wanna say thank you to my subscribers and also those of you that have been watching the videos and dropping the likes. I appreciate that. Also make some comments, you know, let me know how I'm doing and also let me know what uh, content you'd like to see. All right guys, so let's get into today's video. So today's video is gonna be, how do you measure progress on the golf course? How do you measure your goals? What do your goals look like? Now, for most of us, we're 10 handicappers, maybe a little bit above, and some of us may be a little bit below, maybe a five or a six, and maybe a nine handicap. So that means on average, we're gonna shoot nine to 10 over, loosely, based on your handicap. Now, every time you go to the golf course or when you go play golf, you should have goals set for yourself. You know, how many fairways you wanna hit, like the video I made before, keeping stats while on the golf course. You know, marking down your fairways hit, marking down your greens hit, you know, marking down how many putts you've made for that round of golf. So that way, you have something to measure the next time you go out and play golf. Now, a lot of us golfers, when we go out and play golf, we already have, you know, a number in mind. We're gonna go out and have a good time, yes, but we have a number we, sh we you know, we wanna shoot in mind. Oh, I wanna shoot at 80 today, or I wanna shoot at 86 today. I'm gonna stay away from 90, from 91. You know, when you start to do those things, you put extra pressure on yourself that you don't need, you know? Don't have any preconceived notions, you know, be honest with yourself as to the kind of golfer that you are. If you're a golfer that misses, you know, all of the fairways, but you're hitting two fairways, you know, say, okay, well, my goal today is to hit three fairways. You know, if you're missing greens, but you are hitting fairways, you know, let's say you hit maybe, you know, five greens around, maybe six greens around, you know, say to yourself, you know what, I wanna hit that number, but I wanna also go above that. You know, I wanna hit maybe 10 greens. Remember, you know, golf is 18 holes. You know, you get two, you get two nines, a front nine and a back nine. You know, learn where your strengths are, learn where your weaknesses are, so that way you can capitalize on them and you can play your better golf. But the most important thing is, is to not get down on yourself because you hit a bad shot or because you're not, you know, playing to your handicap. That's okay. You know, even professional golfers sometimes shoot in the 80s and they're plus handicappers, you know, so you'll have a bad round and you'll have your good rounds, you know, but it, most important, always stay in the moment. Don't rush ahead and don't think of the next hole. Take each shot at a time. T box, all right, so I wanna hit this fairway. Boom, you hit the fairway. Okay, now you have your approach shot. Doesn't matter what number you have in or how far you're out. We're not talking about that this video. We're, we're talking about the process of thinking positive and measuring your success. So yeah, so take each shot at, a, at one at a time. You know, you don't need to rush. Don't need to rush your process. Remember, like I said before in the previous videos, you always wanna have a pre-shot routine. And just like when we had our golf instructor on there, Jim Gronebeck, when he talked about the grip, posture, alignment, those things are already in place from when you were on the practice tee. Now you're in the fairway, playing golf, all those other thoughts are out of your head. You're not worrying about anything else but what shot you're about to hit at that moment. Remain positive, remain steadfast. And again, if nothing works out, it's okay. It's golf. It's not that serious. However, though, us golfers, you know, we want to play good golf. You know, we want to play like the pros. And again, guys, we are measuring our successes on the golf course by what goals we have in place. Again, like I was mentioning before, if you want to hit more fairways, focus on that. Mark those things down. So your previous round of golf, if you hit five fairways, you know, make it a goal to hit two more fairways, but maintain your same goals. Now, when you go out and play golf, sometimes you'll do good and sometimes you'll do bad. You may miss a fairway or two, you may hit a fairway or two. That's okay. 
you're still measuring your success and you're still measuring good outcomes. Even if you bogey a hole, what did you take away from that hole, right? Did you hit the fairway? Did you hit the green? But you just missed a putt, maybe three putted? Whatever it is, it's okay. Just measure your successes and you will see yourself getting better. All right, guys, so before I get out of here, I just want to go ahead and uh, touch on one other topic I had in mind today, um, which is playing from the proper tee box. Now, a lot of us, we try to play from the tips. We say we want to experience the whole golf course. Now, you will experience the whole golf course. You know, you'll see the trees, you'll see the rough, you'll see the street, you'll see the cart path, you'll see other tee boxes. So if that's what you want to experience, then by all means, you know, go ahead and experience the full golf course. But if you want to realistically play to your strengths, play it from the t proper tee boxes. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, every so now and then, you know, I'll go out, you know, and I'll play from the tip of the, you know, or whatever golf course I'm playing at. But I always keep in mind, I know that, you know, between 7,200 and 6,800, well, I, I should say between 6,800 and 7,200, you know, I can handle that. That's not that bad for me. But if we get up there to 76, 7,800 yard golf courses, then I'm gonna play from where I can manage. And that's just being realistic, you know, cause I mean, again, some golf courses, you know, the fairways are not firm, they're soft. So now that golf course is even longer because if you're not hitting it that far, maybe your tee shot in the fairway, maybe altogether it's 295. You know, some golf holes or some par fives are 600 yards, you know, so you, you still got a long shot for your second and third shot to get into the, you know, to get into the green. So just maintain your focus, understand the kind of golfer that you are be honest with yourself you don't have to tell this to any other but any person that you're playing with like oh today i'm working on just hitting more fairways i mean you can but you don't have to you know that's between you and the man upstairs and the golfing gods you know so just maintain focus set your goals attain your goals and watch yourself get better but also again Think about what you're doing, play from the proper tee box. It's okay, you're not gonna be considered, you know, you know, hitting from the women's tees or, or weak or, or, or whatever. You know, those guys that make you feel like that, you don't need to play with those guys. You know, it's good to kind of, you know, chide you know, each other. Oh man, you know, you need to do better, that kind of stuff. You know, a little friendly competition is not bad. But at the same time, you don't need to be, you know, be playing with people that are make you feel less than, you know, the person that you are. I mean, again, at, at the end of the day, we're not getting paid for this, right? We're just playing on the weekend and we're doing the best we can to manage our game when we get a chance to play, right? Today is Saturday. I'm not playing today. You know, I got to do some things, uh, you know, for my daughter. So, and I got to go to work. So again, you know, limitations, right? But it's all good stuff. You know, family is important. You know, golf is not that important. But at the same time, if you want to play good golf, this is what we're talking about. Measuring your success by setting goals, attainable goals, right? So in maybe five rounds of golf, you say to yourself, I want to hit five fairways for the last five rounds or the next five rounds of golf that I'm playing. Right? and mark it down on your scorecard and take that scorecard with you and measure it against other scorecards that you have. And at the end of the day, or at the end of those five rounds of golf, you'll see your percentage in fairways hit. Likewise, greens, putting, right? Same thing, measure your goals to attain your success and play better golf. Cause I mean, a lot of gurus out here hit it 100 yards farther and, and I mean that's fine I mean you can hit it 100 yards farther but if you ain't hitting it straight you're hitting it 100 yards left 100 yards right you know so think about what it is that you're doing attain those goals that you're setting for yourself and you play better golf all right guys Black Rhino here again with Black Rhino Golf Talk <laughs>